Greg's gonna make the chili with the shit the bed sauce. Oh yeah. I, by the way, we'll all have clean shit colons. The bed. Dude, dude. dude. Like, who, <laughs> who makes a sauce called shit the bed and sells Apparently it? Apparently, good sauce. Hey, man. it's some serious <laughs> stuff some right good there. Stuff. Dude, dude, listen, listen to me. These ingredients started with orange juice and scorpion chili peppers, and Greg gave me some of this shit the bed sauce. I almost shit the bed. <laughs> it's not a joke. This is absolutely true. I woke up in the middle of the night, and I, f- my fingers were like this. You guys see this? Mm-hmm. I don't know if we're recording or not, but maybe we can zoom in on this on the camera. This is me crossing my fingers saying, I hope this is a fart. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, never trust a fart. Never trust a fart. Especially if you have the shit the bed sauce. I didn't shit the bed. All I know is uh, uh, right I, had, I had I had such bad ass gas the dogs wouldn't even come near me. So. Well, and Greg called it the night before. He's like, well, no, actually, I called it the night before. I was like, he's going to be down in the bathroom, and he's going to go... In there for about 10, 15 minutes, he's going to come out. The fan's going to be going. He's going to say, do not go, go in, in there. there. And no. he did. The, the toilet was so pissed off. The dogs would the Jimbo came over. He's all like, the you toilet know. Was the toilet Jimbo. Off. Yeah. Our, our mascot, uh, Jimbo, my English bulldog, who's a great guy. But oh. uh, even he wouldn't come over and play. He's all like, Daddy, there ain't no way I'm hanging out with you today. Like, I'm so, out of here. I am out of here. But I want a treat before I go. <laughs> wash your hands first. Yeah, wash your hands first, Daddy. Because oh, I tell God. you what, that was some badass stuff, Dad. Georgia, she was nowhere to be found. Smart girl. Smart girl, yes, sir. Man, yes, some... sir. Too funny. It was rough. It's uh, Yeah, it was a rough start today. All right. It was a rough start. It was uh, different. It was different, for sure. But we're yeah, good. We're doing a reset here. We're back. Are we are back, this, kids. We're back. And, uh... It happens. Three, two, five, go! <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. Welcome. This is Whiskey Roundtable. We are your hosts. I'm Joe Clark. Big G. Albert Nicholas Santilli III. Karen Helen Keller. And I was looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> Shout out to the Cleveland Bourbon Co-op. We want to thank you for joining us tonight. Be sure to view us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And if you want to be a guest on the show, obviously like in the past we say, pick out your favorite whiskey, bring the unopened bottle over, and if it has to be open because it's something rare that is not available on our local shelves, we understand, just message us, we'll work it out, you know, whatever. Or if you want to be a guest on our show and just kind of hang out with us, that's fine too at this point. Um, we don't have any announcements from uh, the Co-op or Hank and Carl today. Again, announcement, guys. Announcements. Yeah. Um, even Eric or any of the other moderators or administrators sure. want to give us anything to say on the show that's going to be fresh and new for the next month or whatever, we'll gladly pass it on. You know what I'd like to see? Uh, I'd like to see some get-togethers. You know, it's cold. It's the winter. Let's uh, let's get do some get-togethers. Yeah. Sure. Tops Bar on, line. bottoms off, bottoms off, tops on, whatever. <laughs> it's all the same, though. I'll show up with my bottom off. Oh, my no. goodness. No pants. Oh. Ain't no potter like a no penna potter because a no penna potter don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Who are oh you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> After they watch this, they're going to be like, damn, we're not going to have any more get-togethers. <laughs> you guys are all invited, but leave that Albert guy at home, yeah, would you? Hopefully Albert will be out of town, just saying. So. so on tonight's show, we are featuring a Midwinter's Night's Dram, a High West product. Uh, we acquired this bottle from uh, Hank. Thank you. Thank we you, Hank. We appreciate that. Thanks, it's Hank. very What's good. Up, Dave? Hank. Um, he always helps us get a lot of different whiskeys we can't usually get. Usually what he picks out for us is the good old rare stuff. Yes, so thank he does. You. I it's, appreciate it. It's always you, very nice. He does it for the group. We appreciate everybody in the group that picks out their whiskeys and brings them in and mules them for us. Thank you. Amen. And Amen. Uh, what do we got? Uh, we got on cigars. So I'm, drink- I'm drinking. Listen to me. I'm uh, smoking a Brickhouse Cigar Maduro, uh, Royal Havana Cigars. Uh, was kind enough to uh, give us one of these. I'm smoking a 660. Uh, Brickhouse was originally uh, done in Cuba, and this is a Nicaraguan blend cigar. It's uh, very smooth. It's burn- burning well, and uh, great cigar. We're all about the cigars, 38448 uh, Lakeshore Boulevard. Uh, check them out. Uh, if you go there and mention 
that the Whiskey Roundtable sent you, uh, you get 10% off your first purchase. Uh, we do uh, weddings, we do anniversaries, we do birthdays, we do Christmas parties, we do all that stuff. You come in and try cigars and pick out what you want for your party. Uh, they have a boutique. Uh, Dave is kind enough to supply us with our lighters, our ashtrays, our cigars, all kinds of stuff. Uh, go check them out. It's a 1950s uh, Cuban theme at the lounge. Uh, you'd be surprised who you know there. It's a great spot. So I always say stop in at the Royal Havana Cigars, 38448 uh, Lakeshore Boulevard. Check them out, guys. Yeah, All they right. got two large screen TVs. I know Super Bowl Sunday's coming Amen. up. Amen. Amen. Go grab some cigars, sit back, watch the game, and have a good time. Have a good time. Usually there's food there, and uh, BYOB. Uh, we don't advertise that, but BYOB, uh, well, you won't did. be the surprise. I understand that. <laughs> BYOW. BYOW. So uh, it, it, it's a great spot. Check them out. You'd be surprised. You're going to love it. You'll be there. If you go there one time, you'll be there 10 more times before the end of the year. Trust me when I tell you. All right. I'm smoking a very rare, um, highly sought after. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Let's Marlboro. hear it. Let's Marlboro. hear it. Mar Mar Marlboro. Are you the Marlboro 72? man tonight? Gold. Gold pack. Gold. Look at you. It's gold oh. plated. Apparently, he don't play. Hey, it's, so. it's actually got a texture to the back uh, there. I see that. It's fashionable. Nothing so, but the best. So it doesn't it doesn't get hung up when you throw it in the garbage. But that's all right. <laughs> Karen, what do you got tonight? You were I, smoking a cigar earlier. I was smoking a cigar earlier, and then I switched it back up. I'm on the blacks again, the clove cig cigarettes. So that's what I'm doing tonight. What you got, Albert? I am smoking one of the nub cigars. So Greg Battaglia... This gentleman here to our uh, well, to, left, your, to the viewers right. left. Actually, the viewers left. He bought me uh, a pack of Nub cigars over the holidays. Yes, I did. And it came with a very nice punch cutter. It's very, Nub cutter, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah I don't, very no, nice. So, so this is a unique thing. It kind of connects to the <coughs> keychain. <laughs> don't, don't drop it on the laptop again. This so, very nice. But it's a nice thick. I would say these nub cigars no, range but somewhere between three fourths to an inch in diameter. Um, very nice. I'm gonna keep large it. cigar, but it's short. It's kind of like a, <coughs> a you know, chode. You know, they're, a chode. They're they're, norm <laughs> they're normally a, a four four and a half inch, uh, six inch at max. It's a it's a I good like cigar. Them, dude, it's I, a great cigar. Thank you, you know, for giving to me. You're, thank you. you're thank very you for welcome. giving to me over the you're holidays because they're short, fast, and easy. I, I would smoke them on the beach, and they wouldn't last too long. So. Which I which I purchased at the Royal Havana Cigar Lounge over right. there and Lakeshore Boulevard. Um, I, I bought Albert the uh, the pack with that, and uh, he went to Florida and was uh, for the holidays, and uh, he was kind enough to send me some pictures of every cigar he smoked yeah. <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> on the beach. Wish you were here. I wish he got hey, sunburned. Uh, what are you doing? Me. Oh, nothing, man. I'm just working. Also, oh, really? I'm having a lunch at uh, the Ritz Carlton right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tough luck, brother. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they're good cigars, and, and we do carry the nubs. And um, there's all kinds. Of, if any of you ladies are out there listening today, we have a lot of women cigars out there as well. Dave is very. Uh, we have a great selection. He's very diverse in cigars, and uh, he can hook you up with. Uh, whether it be the Javas or the Nubs or any of your flavored cigars. The acids Pl are great Acid too. cigars, exactly. Um, lockers, anybody's interested in, in having a locker, they come in a couple different series. Um, if you you know, if you get the, the, the gold pack, if you will, for this for the lockers, you get uh, first dibs and all the new stuff that comes in at a discounted price. And uh, a good good spot. All the lockers are humidified and uh, you, you won't go wrong we have uh, usually there's a wait for the locker sorry to tell you and um, good spot good spot just check it out check it out kids telling you the truth three eight four four eight we're all on cigars Dave Samrock love you Dave mm. well, you got North Coast Jazz Ensemble yeah, so if you're looking for private lessons to improve your child's musicianship, uh, sight reading skills, or overall just learning to work well with others in the workplace and 
all of that, just preparation for college, contact the North Coast Jazz Ensemble, 216-407-9725. Um, I've studied with Jack Shantz and Professor Rock Weirman. Jack Shantz is the director of the Cleveland Jazz Orchestra, and I received my degree from the University of Akron in Jazz Studies. I have a certificate of achievement from the Berklee School of Music in Boston. Very prestigious schools. It is. And uh, I teach private lessons as well as public performance. So contact the North Coast Jazz Ensemble. Thanks for listening. Can, can I ask you a quick question? Do you, do you have a website? I mean, a web address, an email address, I should say. Yeah, you can contact uh, the North Coast Jazz Ensemble at ANS. That's A as in Albert, N as in Nicholas. S as in Santilli, I I I as in Roman numeral three <laughs> <laughs> at Cap Surgical K A P P Surgical dot com. Uh, that's the best way to reach me, and uh, that's that's the website is best place way to find the North Coast Jazz Ensemble. It's going on Facebook, Facebook, North Coast Jazz Ensemble. Grove Hill Music, hashtag Grove Hill Music, or at Grove Hill Music. So check out the North Coast Jazz Ensemble. We do private events, weddings, and private lessons. Thank you. Enjoy the rest. Amen. And, and if you can't remember all of that, just go on the whiskeyroundtable.com, reach out to us, we'll get you to Albert, and uh, get you hooked up. He's a busy guy. Very busy guy. All right. What we got on the bottle? Want to hold that bad boy up to the camera? I will. Let me put this down for a second. I'm sorry. And uh, I'll show what we got. What we got going. You want to tell what it is? Midwinter Night's Dram. It's whiskey in a bottle. It's pretty neat. It's got a color to it like whiskey. It's got neat artwork on the front. Joe's Captain Obvious tonight. Yeah. Um, it is um, made by a poet Michael Knight that was in the 80s on Knight Rider. Is it really? The, explain the darkness. It's very dark. It's very, very dark. I, I have no fucking I don't clue. Remember re- I don't remember reading Somebody that. here is going to have all the information on that, and I wonder who it's going to be. I don't know. What are you talking about? Very, very dark. You know, charred barrel, obviously. You know, we, we talked about um, Karen had spoke, uh, I don't know if it was last show or the show before, uh, about charred barrels so I would love to do a show uh, whether we do whether we feature a whiskey or not mm-hmm. I would like to do a show just on charred barreling I think that was yeah. that was very interesting it was. about yeah, it was. how they how they get the darkness and the different bourbons or whiskeys if you will um, and it go through all the stages go through people. all the stages yeah. exactly charred it, versus toasted and char- all exactly and i think that uh, maybe maybe even next week even if even if we don't feature a whiskey so to say i'd like to talk about the history of the char bro maybe we can get some of the different colors on the table yeah, that'd if be we will cool. and idea. uh I, I it's amazing everybody, so, everybody bring their own favorite drink and sure. drink it and it, we don't have to explain each drink just sit right. there and sip on your favorite the the charred yeah. barrel thing is it, it's still um uh, you know i know that we're featuring the winter's dram if you will through high west but the charred barrel thing was was very uh captive to me yeah. i just felt that that's something that people don't take into consideration uh of the bourbons that they drink so mm-hmm. i think that that would be a great show, mm-hmm. you know, because this is very dark. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, very, I'd like very to dark. Actually, capture you on camera, going into the bunghole of the. Uh, you are trying to. Okay. You could, we could see if it's moist or if it's you dark are, or you, charred. You in are. There. It's probably messy. You know, I knew you were stupid, but you're definitely stupid. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just something. We'll film that for next. But episode. I, I think that would be a great show. We should think about that. We'll talk about that after the show, but. The charred barrel thing really amazed me of the different things that Karen pointed out of how quick you can char a barrel and the different levels of charred barrels. So uh, what makes it dark, what makes it, you know, rye or whatever. But uh, I think that that would be a great show. So just something to think about, kids. I think that we should do that. So anyway, I'm sorry, Joe, I didn't mean to take over. Go ahead. No, you're good. Um, Basically the Karen. 
What do we got on the uh, history? Um, so it's it is Midwinter's Night Dram, and it it's is just a hard one to always say. It is, and you know why? You know, it is a take off of Shakespeare's <laughs> A Midsummer Night's Dream. So a lot of times we were talking about it, yeah. and I kept trying to call it A Midwinter's Night Dream. Yeah. They're like, no, 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 it's not dream, it's dram. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it is. You know, you've got that. In and your a dream head, of whiskey is a shot of whiskey, isn't it? It is. I believe it so. Is. I believe so. For it's like the overseas term. So, so I kept messing that up, but I finally got it down because I wrote I like it, so I wouldn't forget. But um, it's distilled by High West in Park City, Utah, and it's the first legally licensed distillery in Utah since Prohibition, and it was founded in 2007. So. Prohibition was what 19 20, 20 yeah 12, 20. 13 years 12 or 20, 12 years mm-hmm. long right yeah we tried to forget about prohibition yeah. but um I yeah think it was so, kind of cool in some points time speakeasies and that. yeah, yeah speakeasies yeah, yeah. They, yeah they brought us a lot of cool stuff Tommy guns <laughs> the mob well that's probably not all very cool then but anyway kind of cool. yeah Anyway, uh, a lot of history a lot of history the uh, midwinter's night dram is a limited release and it's a spinoff of the Rendezvous Rye. The Rendezvous Rye is a 92 proof. This is actually a 98.6 proof. So it's a little bit different. It's blend. It's a blend of whiskeys, and they're uh, both finished in French oak port cases. It's a combination of a six-year from MGP, which we had talked about out of Indiana. Yep. And it consists of a 95% rye and a 5% barley hmm. and the other uh, rye like whiskey barleys. yes the other rye is a 16 year from Barton distillery and it consists of an 80% rye a 10% corn and a 10% barley hmm. Hmm. so it sells for about 90 to a hundred dollars it is a limited release it comes out in the winter time Joe we were talking about what I don't know, version or age, and you said it was Act 6? Act 6, Scene 3 is what we're drinking. Scene yep. 3. So they uh, kind of take it from the Shakespearean... Yep. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. A Midsummer's Night's Dream. Not a midwinter, a Midsummer's Night's Dream. Yes, yes. yes. Said that. For those exactly. of you who are paying attention in high school. And now that we know <laughs> that, we keep mixing it all up. Yes. <laughs> I know it's very, now con- I'm all very up, confusing, yeah. but that's all right. It's very con- now we're all messed up. No, that's okay. It's easy for me to get messed up. High West says that this is a unique rye that tastes like the flavors of Christmas. So when I read that, I thought Christmas ale, because I'm a beer drinker. There's my Great Lakes right here. Uh, thank thank oh, you, man. Albert. You got the can Great Lakes. I do. How many, I, how many I OZs do. is that? Uh, how, how many ounces oh, wait, is 40? How many ounces? How many ounces is 40? Yeah. Uh, for, how, <laughs> how many ounces in a 40? Yeah. <laughs> I stopped right before that, too. Uh, uh, yeah. I was like, hey, Greg, so I how many... Court? Wait a minute, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> no. Yeah, Greg just called you out with yeah, that look. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, just, I looked right at him, and he caught on right well, away. Yeah. Like, how many maybe I should, just show I'm not maybe I should just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they were talking about Pretty it's fun. got a, the flavors of Christmas, and so I was anticipating some kind of Christmas ale type of flavors to this. And I was surprised, Joe, when we were at your house last week, and it was the first time I tried it, did not taste any of that no. Christmassy flavor to it. I didn't. I do think it's interesting. What? We were talking about Greg the... Greg was co- sleeping. What? Yeah, no, he was on I the couch with the sleeping. cat. Oh, give me... Okay, go ahead. Please, we'll show pictures Tell your later. story, and I'll, I'll, I'll confirm all this, all this nonsense that they're trying to accuse me of. But anyway, go ahead. Um... But the only thing I see Christmassy about it, we were kind of talking about colors before when you were talking about the chard. This is more of an amber color than any of the whiskeys or bourbons that I think we have tried I, on previous I, shows. I agree. I agree. So that's the only thing to me that I can kind of compare to Christmas is more of that reddish color to it. Port, port's a red wine, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. It is. It yeah. is. It has that tint. Like, it's got a heavy red it tint. It does have it. a heavy red it tint. And it's almost, when you, hold, you know, when we hold the glasses up, you see the red in it. Yeah, you know? I agree. I That's agree. we were talking earlier about how when we got this originally, we had never tried it in the Yippie Kaye, and it was like a discussion on the, on the co-op. 
And uh, some of the guys were saying, oh, it's like drinking uh, Basil Hayden Dark Rye. And I was like, oh, no. No, no. Oh, no. And I, I texted to Greg. He's like, you got to be fucking kidding me, man. I was like, dude, I'm not. And then somebody else chimed in and said, no, it's not. It's not anything like that. Because this is aged in a uh, port, French, port, whatever it is, wine cask. French oak port cask. Right. Yes. yes. That's too much for me to say. I know. And, a <laughs> and, uh, whereas the, the dark rye actually has wine in it. Wine yeah. is actually introduced in the whiskey. And from I what I remember, there's there's rye to it, but it's not a strong rye. No, it's 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 a really interesting blend. It really is. And it's, it's smooth. Awesome. Very yeah. smooth it, from it, what it, I it's, remember. It's awesome. Is this readily available in Ohio? No. No, it's not. No, it's no. not. You will not find this in the state of Ohio. No. Uh, we were we were uh, blessed that uh, we I think we have Joe. Um, I think we have just about every bottle. Uh, of High West that you can get, except for at the distillery, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we 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 have yeah, there's like two or three at the distillery. Well, they did say there's there. like a. I, I did read something about a 21 year old um, yeah, we don't rye have, that yeah, they yeah, had, yeah, but you have, have to go, go to, to Utah yeah, correct, to, to actually it get right. it. Yeah, and and I might have Dave do that. So uh, I have a friend of mine, Dave, um, who is a High West fanatic, and he. He has a vacation spot out there, and uh, he, I was at a Christmas party this year, and and uh, he quizzed me on uh, on what we had, and uh, I was uh, me and my myself and him were both surprised at how much High West product we, that we actually do have, yeah. and uh, I think that we had pretty much everything except for. The stuff that you actually had to go to the distillery. Yeah. Well, and I think buy. we got a bottle of this in New Jersey when we were out visiting. We did Naomi. the silver. So, well, we got the silver, silver yeah. and uh, you know we you know we have all kinds of different ones. Your rye, Not, silver, yeah, your rye. right. And there was some of those some of those ryes. I don't remember the names of them. Or some of those whiskeys. I don't remember the name of uh, that. They did a limited release in Ohio this past year, mm -hmm. and uh, I was okay. able to stumble across. Uh, uh, all of those. I think there was three or four different ones that yeah. I was able to yeah. to grab. And uh, yeah, I think they pretty much had everything here except for the ones you get at the distillery and that. Right. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And we were able to uh, acquire that as well. Right. So very, very, uh, very good. I'm very impressed with High West products. Um, very good. I think everything that we've had has been fantastic. Yeah. In my personal opinion. So. Yeah. Yeah, um, and considering I'm they're a newer they're, distillery, they, they don't taste newer. You know, right. sometimes you have no, the don't. young no. bourbons, and it's very well made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very well made. I, I just want to go. If you guys don't mind, I just want to go back to uh, being at your house last Saturday. <laughs> where, <laughs> where I was not <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> you guys, Dude, so, pull that, so listen, pull we're gonna pictures we're, at eleven. We're gonna we're gonna put some pictures. It's gonna out, be the okay? first fucking thing when I edit this. The first, it's not even going to be the credits or the show opening. It's just going to be a picture of Greg sleeping on the chair. <laughs> With the cat looking at him like, who let the Yeti in the right house? Right in the first thing. It's not going to be the wording about how we got together and we're all retarded and came up with the show. <laughs> or the whiskey round table opening. Or the oh, that's how it's going to be, huh? That's how it's going to be, huh? The cat's just looking at you like, that's, that's how it's going to be. The cat knew. The cat knew. Cat knew. Yeti in my house. Exactly. So, so that's what I said. <laughs> Last Saturday, she got up saying, "Oh, I'm about to go cut." Oh, what the fuck is this? Last Saturday, we had, we had the uh, winter storm that blew through, and uh, yeah. they were predicting two foot of snow, and I think we had yeah, twelve good. inches. Yeah, but uh, life, thank God for my Jeep. That's so like I, I took more than so we, we were <laughs> summer nights dram. We were at Joe's night. house, and uh, my own decanter. I was. Me. I, we were watching. Uh, really good. We were watching videos of comedy and all kinds of different stuff, and we watched a couple of our shows. And uh, I was, I was tired of sitting at the the table that I was sitting at. Oh, well, he was and tired. I, and I decided to go sit in a comfortable couch with an ottoman. And uh, you know the cat. They had this black cat, and you can't touch the cat because the cat is. Why's it gotta be the black cat? And uh, <laughs> and the cat decided to. And they say cats pick their people. So uh, the cat jumped up on the ottoman, and it gave me the look, and and I knew that look before because I'm married. And uh, I decided to close my eyes, oh, and yeah. uh, 
you know, hopefully the cat would go away. Just hopefully okay. lick you with your and sandpaper tongue. I, I close, the, but the cat, the cat eyeballed me. <laughs> Peanut the, butter position. The, the cat eyeballed me, and so I closed my eyes hoping that it would go away, but for like 40 minutes or so, the cat never left. So, But they, they said I fell asleep. But anyway, I missed out on the dram and everything else that, that Joe had a very great selection and of bourbons. And we were bourbons yelling away. his name like, hey, Greg. You oh, want to try this? Not, we I did not, not want to disturb the cat. I want to disturb the cat. Come on, the three of us, we're not quiet. <laughs> no. It and then, not and quiet. then, and he and was then out, man. when I when I finally realized that the cat was at rest between my legs, I opened my eyes and, and the show went on. So I don't know I don't know where you guys are coming up with. I fell asleep. Yeah, yeah and then he saw the bottles. I was like, oh, what the fuck, man? When are you going to hear this? Like, dude, we've been calling well, you for I was like worried about 20 the cat. minutes. <laughs> So right. all I'm going to say is the pictures that Joe posts about the are cat we? and myself, you can make your own conclusion. They are not photoshopped. This okay. is like Here's real sleep. life. Whatever. Here's but sleep. I was wide awake the entire time. Mm-hmm. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Pure anyway. sleep. <laughs> 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 you guys are stupid. Anyway. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. what do we got, Joe? What are we doing? What I think do you got she on was, the nose? I, oh, I finished, I'm sorry. I finished okay. the... All right. uh, the uh, okay. history, so you got on the nose. All right, on the nose, the smell of rich wine is the forefront. Raspberries and a hint of rye spice also pull through. Uh, is there a hint of baking fruit pie? Uh, I want to say it reminds me of the smell of some kind of dessert freshly baking. Uh, um, again, this is from uh, High West. Uh, I just can't pull my put my finger on it. One thing certain is uh, it is definitely a blend of red wine and whiskey on the nose, with the red wine dominating. So that's the nose. And they always say to drink it on a cold winter night, and it is like five degrees out right now. So so uh, we're so, there. All right, so so let's let's pass it out. Pass it out. Let's, let's take a nose on it. Thank you. You're very welcome. I get the spicy rye right up front, and it's kind of fruity to me, really. Yeah, it is. Like a fruity, sweet rye. It's really. heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, it's real cool color. As Karen was saying, it's um, it's real. Uh, it's dark. It and is it, dark. To me, it's like when you're looking at it in a glass. In the wider part, it's darker. In the bottom part, it kind of lightens up. You get a lot of red tint to it. You yeah. said very auburn color. You yeah. get that port from from the barrels and the color. It's, it smells fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I do. You know it's a rye. There's, there's a yeah. ton of fruit in there for sure. Yeah, ton of yeah it's, I get spicy rye right up front, and it's very, very fruity. Yeah. I hope the, I hope it tastes as good as the nose. So it, what? Uh, what's the palate supposed to be like? The palate, let me uh, let me get back to it. I'm sorry, I apologize. Again, this is from High West. Um, oh my goodness. Do we know, did we say, I'm sorry, did we no, say where ahead. it was located? High West is over in uh, Utah. It is in Utah. Park City, Utah, yes. yes. All right, so the palate is dark fruit is prominent, uh, cherries and raspberries specifically. Uh, it coats the mouth with and tongue with nicely giving a rich velvety mouthful. Uh, there is uh, less spice. Sorry. That's I'm wearing velvety. glasses, but uh, they're, they're the wrong glasses. Um, less spice than the standard rendezvous rye, but at the same time, level of complexity. Let the smell and taste blend of dark red wine and whiskey all through the whiskey dominates the palate. Dominates the palate. I all smell right. the red wine in there. I yeah. really do. I definitely get you guys the whiskey. Take a <laughs> that smells fantastic, man. It really does. Yeah. I do. I, I do. Let's do try it. the Let's dram. Do I, I poured heavy because it's I know that. Uh, night. It kind of is like midwinter. I, I want it to. It is midwinter, uh, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Hey guys, yeah. to, to the whiskey round table and staying warm on this mid midwinter night. Cheers. I don't 
Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like a right fizzy bat. I might take her out. I, I mean, you get a hint of the rye, but it's not real. It's just very. It's it's sweet and it's fruity. Yeah. You, you don't get a ton of heat. No. It's sweet. No. You get sweet. It, it's um, sure. the pat. The, you know, the finish is very nice. Um, it's I taste very the, fruity. Smooth. I taste. Smooth. I was gonna say, I taste yeah. the fruit. I do taste the rye. This I is do. very guys. You do. You know, it's a rye. Satisfying. Yeah. Um, so the finish is uh, no new flavors make themselves present. Fades away softly. I agree. Yes. yes. Uh, medium length and not very spicy, but warming to uh, warming note and less. So basically, um, it's warming, but it's uh, it goes away. Yeah, goes I got a nice warm feeling going down. You get it going down too. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I get it at the first taste. But I don't get the heat, some of the spicier ones that you'll drink. You know, this is, I don't know if I mentioned it, it's a 98.6 proof. Not bad. Oh, okay. So it's it's right right in the middle there. Not too strong, not too mm. weak. Oh, perfect on the proof. It's, uh, yeah, I don't get it really any heat at all. Um, the, at the, the backside of it is very, it's very fruity. It, it is. It I, lingers I, for a long I, time. I do taste the rye in it. Mm -hmm. I do taste the rye. I do taste the rye, the rye but yeah, I, you know it's a rye for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's definitely a rye, and the first taste of it is sweet to me. Look at the legs. Yeah, it's sweet. It's very sweet. It's yeah. sweet, but it's not like sweet sweet. Yeah, it's it's a heavy it's a heavy drink. It's a heavy drink. It's a nice the color slow, is beautiful. Nice slow drag down the glass. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it again, kids. Let's do it. I'm gonna hit it again. Sweeter and fruitier. Really. I can see how people would say it's somewhat of a desserty type of drink, dessert type, a little bit, but not what you would think at all. Not like it takes away the, the true whiskey side of things, but so, it's um. It's very fruity. Like so, an espresso so, to a coffee. So I I just hit it again. And uh, I drank a little bit of the soda water, and I definitely, definitely the fruit, the fruit came way out. Yeah. Second, second taste. I mean, fruity. it's very yeah. fruity, mm -hmm. very cherry, um, yeah. very, very good. I mean, I yeah. taste the cherry in it. I really, really. I get do. a lot of yeah. I get a lot of the cherry and dark fruits. To I do too. Yeah. I do too. I was very good. Say red fruits, dark. Red, red fruits. Yeah. Exactly right. Very good. Like you said, Joe, I, and I didn't expand on it, but after dinner, it's a like a dessert yeah, almost. Yeah, but nice after drink. dinner, yeah. you may want a cup of coffee or some espresso or something. It's got that after dinner kind of taste to it. So yeah. it's just kind of. A really? Really, really, I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. I could sit around and drink this all Dude, day. The legs. <laughs> are, oh, yeah. I could too. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was doing. Look at the legs on this. I mean, the legs are them. almost immediate. Look at it. Immediate. Look at it. You know, sometimes you gotta wait after you splash around the. Sniffer or whatever, these are almost. They come up right away. And they're very, very, they're nice very and slow. Man. Very consistent. Very yeah. consistent. You know, watch it. It'll, it'll, it'll start you can falling. definitely tell. It's just, it's a nice thick drink, man. Yeah, it is. So if I were yeah. to compare this to, because they call it Christmassy, if I were to compare this to like a Christmas ale every year, it's a different taste or a, yeah, you know it's heavy. got a different Look twist that. on very it oily. Look at that. yes is this different yes. every year so like next next year's version of this will i be don't know different. this is my first version so okay because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just curious because every year when right. you, you know you go to great lakes you get the christmas sale it, it's different every year it's i've this, heard people say on this that it's very consistent year okay. to year yeah. well i'll tell you what i'm 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 sold I mean, this oh, is yeah. the first time I've ever had it. Right. And um, thanks yeah, to Hank. I thought you were awake last week. You, <laughs> you were sleeping on the couch. No, no, we had this. We had this. <laughs> listen, don't listen to all other bullshit. Ah, uh, he is. He okay. said it's the first time Whatever. he's had it. Y'all heard it. Whatever. You know what? I, I'll be honest with you. Me and Joe had this. Uh, we tried this uh, a couple weeks before over the hot yeah. Christmas holidays. Yeah. So. Yeah, we uh, we yeah, we, we broke it's like we brought broke it open. over, <laughs> and it's just like, dude, we're opening this. We're right opening now. this. It was up, like right. tear into it, like we got to just have a nip of it before no, we do Joe, a show. Joe, of it. Joe's got a great collection uh, at the house, and uh, last weekend uh, we were we were 
You are full of shit. But anyway, we were. Uh, he broke up. He broke out the best of the best, and uh, we we really enjoyed ourselves. The cat, thank God, was sleeping, so I was able to move around and taste a bunch of different you things. You put the peanut but butter under the table. I did put the peanut butter under the table. Did you find that? I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. You know what? I think that decanter you had made a whole different you know, taste it's to funny. that 107. That 107 yeah. was fantastic. Yeah. It really was. Yeah, I mean, it tricked me because I kept drinking it. I was like, wow, it looks really good in that decanter. I think I drank half of it, literally. Mm. Hey, Myself. you were at home. You, I mean, usually even at home, I don't do that. I just like Usually when I'm at home, I drink Gee, Joe never has way a second less. cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> way less. And that at cat, home, I usually, it's like, you know, I'll, I'll have a snifter while I'm at home. He's and passed out. Dude. I mean, I, I guess out. I'm lying sometimes because I'll be throwing pictures on the co-op and it's like I'm gonna try this I'm gonna do this we drink out of our glasses we drink out of our glasses oh yeah yeah yeah. the the buffalo trace and the old rip glass yeah Mm -hmm. yeah those are cool but yeah usually at home I'm drinking the the bottled and bond Heather's favorite drink is the early times oh yeah bottled and bond yeah I almost bought that today yeah I know I know we have three four bottles of it but that's a you know, it's drink, a great man. drink. I yeah. agree. I agree with it's that so 100%. Good. Early you summer. know, I also yeah. did the uh, I also did the navigation for uh, the place that has all of the uh, Pappy Van Winkles and all the uh, you know Thomas Handy and seventeen uh, year old. Oh, Tom Handy. That's yeah, good. and the seventeen uh, year old Eagle Rare and the Weller, the W L Weller, and all that stuff, and. Um, you know, the 12 year and the uh, CYPD, uh, or CYPB, excuse me. Yeah. Um, and, and it's a 12 hour ride. I want one of those. The I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, um, yeah, the white we, yeah. we really should load the kids amazing. up and uh, make a weekend out of that. I guess remember, we're uh, the kids. We're the kids. They're going to load us up. <laughs> I remember when we're talking Josh about Joe's scary. kids. <laughs> and his wife. Dude, I remember when uh, Tom Handy got a little too handy with those 17 year olds. Yeah, you know, but they don't talk about that. So. Yeah, so anyway, uh, Joshua Steely was the brand manager for Buffalo Trace, and he actually visited us. You can see that photo on Instagram yep. and Facebook yep. YouTube, and YouTube. Our uh, Lizardville trip. Lizardville yeah. trip. But exactly that's where that right. CYBP came from. Yeah. Right? That was great. Yeah. What's it called? That's a CYPB. CYPB. So it's a white-labeled Weller product. So as we talked about we talked about uh, this last show about uh, Buffalo Trace is doing the same thing again mm-hmm. for Buffalo, so Tra- Buffalo yeah. Trace yeah. bottle. So, you know, they, they create your own personal bourbon, but they're doing it this time. Before it was just a thing to create a new bourbon, but now they're doing it for the actual Buffalo Trace entry-level bourbon. So, um, it check it out. Kind of like check a it out. mash bill? Yeah. Hmm. So, nice. so... Uh, but I, I'm seriously thinking, and we talked about uh, making a couple of trips, and I really think we should do that yeah, this year. Yeah, that would be cool. We should make a weekend. Getting a, a hand on a CYPB would be really good, because I love that. Oh, it's it amazing. Both, oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. It was so and, good. You know, not paying $900 for it and actually get it for retail. Well, now it's down to five ninety nine. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, I wonder I'll get why. Right on oh, it. $40 right on. bottle for nine nine nine. Yeah. As soon as I, I get done so. shaving Karen's back hair, we're going to get right on that. Oh, my God. So. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> But uh, so anyway, don't make fun a, of my dago hair. Oh, Dude, I'm sorry. I actually get a little bit of like raspberry on the black back end, like well, right is that, on the that's back. part of the red. It's part of the red, right? Yeah, it's, it's, red that, back yeah it's, it's really fruity on the back end. It's very fruity on the back end. I would agree. It's. There, I, I guess it. you could say there's a little cherry there, but it's. Yeah, I could see the raspberry. Yeah, well, this I, is, I, it lingers I, for a I, long time. I said man. cherry, but maybe maybe it is see, raspberry. You know, and I, I mean, took a sip of water, so maybe that brings out some stuff that's. Well, that's what there. you said. You did this. Yeah, I I, I cleansed my palate and I hit it again, and uh, yeah, you know, I I tasted. I thought what may be cherry, but maybe it is raspberry. Can you can you, know? you put a little in there? I'm gonna sure. I'm gonna take a hit of some soda water and see what the difference is. Like here. Anybody else? <laughs> oh, I'm good, man. I still got. I still That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Still have a nipple left. It's so good. This is so good. It's it the the. Sm- 
smell, everything about it is good. Yeah, it's really good. It's delightful to the senses. It, it sure is. is. Not Definitely. as much as Fighting Cock, but... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can we not go there That again? is just... That show is really Balls. I'm, I, I think I've just recovered from yeah. the show. Yeah. Karen, would you like to hear some it ironic takes a special poetry tonight? to bring out no. that kind of humor. It's, it, it is. It's very uh, okay. fruity. It's very good. It's, it's really very good. good. Yeah. What about you, Greg? Would you like to hear some erotic? It's poetry? almost a shame it's no. fucking hundred dollars <laughs> a bottle. You know what? Because I, I wish it was like thirty dollars a bottle, and then we'd have like ten and just drink it all the time. <laughs> three <laughs> you know, three well, bottles isn't enough. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. After I I drank the soda water and I came back to this, very very sweet. Yeah, it's sweet initially, yeah. mm, and then it, I taste the red wine. Yeah. And then the whiskey. Once you get past like the first drink and you go ahead at two, three, four, five. I mean it's very sweet and it's um but it's not sweet like like the basil hayden dark rye right, crap. Right. Um and I like basil hayden stuff. Yeah, you know, I, I wanna get the tenure too and we gotta try that. I'm gonna look for that too. Um because that's on our shelves. Now, well, so we did the what tin cup last week? Yeah, I see. So the, the uh, ten. No, we did the fighting cock. No, fighting cock. I'm cock. sorry, I Show apologize. Before. Tin cup the week before. Week before. So I have a so we talked about the ten year tin cup. Yes. I have a bottle which I'll ten have this year. week. Yeah. The ten year yeah. tin cup. Oh, I'll you have got the ten year. I did sure get the ten year. Decade, yeah. son. I did get the ten year tin Dude, cup. Look at you. I'll have that. Uh, I'll have that next week uh, amongst. Plus, I ordered. Um, Three bottles of fighting cock as well, so we'll have that as well. So uh, you know, I'm sure you'll want a bottle for the house. Yep. And then uh, you know, we'll have a couple bottles here: one bottle of the drink and one bottle for the museum, if you will. Sure. So you know, that's what I got going on. You know, All it's right. funny. It's like I drank that, and I still see it's empty, but I still see the legs, which is great. So that's wow, pretty cool. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. It's hey, very oily. I want to yeah. say thank you to Cleveland Bourbon Co-op for the uh, glasses, by the way. Yeah, they're As beautiful. always, <laughs> fantastic. And, we always uh, drank it out of them on yep. the show. We yes, we do. That's, that's, our, uh, that's our guys right there. Cleveland Bourbon Co-op. If you're, if you're not a member of the Cleveland Bourbon Co-op and you have ties to Cleveland, please join. Please join. Um, if you have ties to Cleveland, uh, you know, you, you don't have to live in the state of Ohio or live in Cleveland. If you have ties to Cleveland, then uh, you know put it out there, and uh, you'd be surprised of the different stuff that the Cleveland Bourbon Co-op offers uh, to members. That uh, stuff that you can't get, rare stuff that you can't find, just like just like this right here, the High West uh, Wintry Dram, if you will. Um, they can hook you up with a lot of stuff. And it's whiskey, it's, cigars, uh, house visits, yeah, and it, <laughs> and it's 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 the price of the bourbon or whiskey, if you will, uh, plus five dollars. So meeting strange you, dudes you, in parking you, lots, and, and when you when you can't when you are stupid when you can't um, <laughs> you, when you can't uh, find <laughs> it, uh, they usually have not it. my so, rules. So that's that's what we do, and that's how we take care of people, and uh, myself as well. I've turned a lot of people on to single barrel buffalo trace and uh you know even blantons which is hard to get uh i usually have a good supply of that as well that i offer up occasionally as well so i mean there's all kinds of different things that they will do for you stuff stuff that that people consider bottom shelf for 10 or 20 i shouldn't say 10 for 15 20 25 dollars a bottle that you can't get just like fighting cock um which I think a, it is a really good. Not it to is. Cut you off. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Heaven Hill Six Year Bottle and Bond is, it's gone, um, but I think um, since you like that so much, you're going to enjoy the Fighting Cock Bourbon yes. as a replacement to that because it, it, it is in that similar price range, a little bit more money around nineteen, twenty, eighteen, twenty dollars, something like that, and uh, it, I think it's a very good replacement well, for that on the shelf. It, and it is because we've tried both. Yeah. Okay. They are a little different. They, they are, are a different. little bit different, but very, very it's similar. Still six years. It's very dark. Yep. For uh, a Heaven Hill product that is, um, I don't know. I guess you can say that young. Um, but it's to get a six-year-old, right? Hundred three proof. Right. Hundred three proof. So but it's it in does that ballpark. Not taste like it. Uh, it's got some similar profiles to it, and um, it's it's awesome for the money. Um, just just as this for being an annual release bourbon that is more readily available than your. BTAC stuff and a lot of other rare stuff. This is good stuff too. Yeah, I know it's a hundred dollars, but 
something that it seems to be a lot more, uh, a lot, a lot easier to come by. Correct. Than, That's um, correct. Yeah. You know, because a lot of guys on the group get this every year, and they get it, every, and we're always like, "Man, we got to get one of those." Man, and we finally got one in it. I'd say for a hundred bucks, it's it's there. It's worth that hundred bucks. It is. I agree. It is. I agree. I agree. Yeah, it's, I a, agree. it's a fantastic drink for that. And very, you, and you very get a lot. I mean, obviously, you get sixteen-year-old juice in there. Uh, Six-year-old juice, you said also. Six I mean, and sixteen. Yes. I mean, to have something that aged in a bourbon whiskey rye, blah blah blah. Um, that's really good. I around a hundred dollars for that. Yeah, I agree. For sure, it is. It really is. It's well worth the money for sure. For sure. All right, let's crack into the news. Uh, did, I'm sorry, you were saying some other stuff. I cut you off there on the uh, fighting. No, cock. I I, uh, I just was just to reiterate the fighting cock and the uh, bottled and bond heaven hill are very very similar, and uh, I want to say it's about twenty dollars a bottle, and uh, you know you can you can run to uh, third base, you can run to Ace spirits, and uh, they they have that uh, they have that stuff readily available. Or um, if you're going to Kentucky and you're going right. to, um, uh, in, uh, what Barstow? is that? Um, <clears throat> Bellevue, Kentucky, right Bellevue, next to yes. uh, New Riff is yep. uh, Party Source, and they got plenty of fighting cock bourbon down there. Mm -hmm. Plus a lot of your bottle and bond stuff there, too. There you go. So give it a shout. You know, get, check it out if you guys want to make the trip. I know, uh, you know, I usually don't uh, message us if you do. We want stuff too. <laughs> Whiskeyroundtable.com. Yeah, amen. That's right. Yes, you know, whiskeyroundtable.com. We got to start men mentioning that in here. And also, when you do watch our show and go to YouTube from the links, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Um, we need those subscriptions to uh, further our show and stuff like that. It's very important that you subscribe to the show. And there's a lot of you members out there, and um, our subscription right now is kind of low. And a lot of you watch the show, please pass it along to other members of the group to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That will help us and will help the group also. Um, even people that are around the Cleveland area that don't get into it, that do watch YouTube, that do, because our show, even though it's not um, a lot, you know, it's not widely out there right now, right. it does when you start, when you search the Whiskey Roundtable or even Whiskey in general, it's already popping up as one of the first shows that come up on YouTube. Nice. So nice. please subscribe to us. That helps a lot. Amen. Amen. And uh, we're going to run into the news here. Um, so we, we talked about uh, Eagle Rare there for a second. So there is their, there's, you know, Eagle Rare 10, which is their regular Eagle Rare. Uh, there's 17, which is very hard to get. And now there is a 20-year. No way. Coming out this year. And uh, I believe Don't it's, tell uh, it's around $1,000 or $900. Ooh. That's retail. That's not well. secondary. That's retail for that. I don't know if anybody's going to get it. If you do, um, please... Come on the show and just let us have a little taste, just a little taste of it, please. I just want an it. Just eyedropper. Yes. Eyedropper. Yes. Uh, we've had the ten. Obviously, everybody has. Uh, we have had the luck of having seventeen. Yep. Um, we want to have that luck again at twenty. I, I would love to compare. Um, New Riff Rye, which my father is always saying it's so good because he lives minutes away from the distillery and he goes down there for tastings. And he buys stuff down there, and uh, hopefully Dad will bring some back. But New Riff Rye is hitting our shelves now. Oh, no shit. Yay! Yes. Their rye is hitting the shelves now. We have to get some of that. Dad loves rye, and uh, Ronnie, uh, Ronnie, uh, forgive me if I don't say your last name right. I, I actually sold some Barton to him, very old Barton. Um, Ronnie Dehar said it is fantastic. Um, he, always, he has a lot of good input on it whiskeys he's actually close to us ronnie come on the show come over hang out dude bring something that you want to drink one of your favorite whiskeys like you have a very good palate you find a lot of really good stuff and um bring something over man come on the show please and uh stag jr is also hitting our shelves i heard that so there i is. just i just got Soon. another bottle of stag jr yeah and it's one so, of our favorites and if so, it's going to be a regular here on the shelves so i, I son of a bitch we, we, we i'm going broke player <laughs> uh, I, I now have, we now have six bottles of Stag Jr. So that's, that's a little we need bit at least harsh, harsh, though. It's harsh it's for not, a It's newbie. 130 some proof. For yeah. you, maybe. For, for a newbie like so. me, it's and a little harsh. And you know what, I think, I'm thinking after the show, I'm thinking after the oh, show, Jesus. I'm no. thinking after the show, we should <laughs> uh, bust that bottle out that we have open. But we do, last Take time we were nip. in Philly, uh, we, we were able to acquire two more bottles. 
Plus, my brother Steve from a Houston was able to bring us a bottle, and uh, you know, plus the bottles we have. So we have we have six bottles plus an open bottle. Great drink. Now that's that a dark a, whiskey. That is a very dark. That's whiskey. a dark whiskey. So that we're is gonna, a we're heavy whiskey, but it doesn't drink like a. I don't know, man. You know, I say that, and other people like, "Oh, I got so heavy," but it doesn't drink like it's 132 proof. Yeah, I think it does. the stuff out now. <laughs> I think the stuff out now is 126. We have a quite a few bottles of 132.9. Right. Or right. 132 or 131.9. Right. 131. One of those I points. Think, I think it's 131. Okay. Wow. So we will, uh, you know, so we're we're well diversed in the in the uh, Stag Junior. Love and, it. Yeah, of course, Buffalo so, Trace. Why wouldn't right. we? Love it? So we're, we're, we'll we'll uh, we'll get into that as well. So we also like Glendronach, if I'm saying that right. I don't know Glendronach, Glendronach. Uh, they have a 1992. It is 26 year old. It was because it was bottled in 2018, not 2019. Uh, it is uh, finished in sherry butts. So we know how we are with the sherry stuff. Right. We all like the sherry finished cast. Butts they call them. It is cast strength at 51 or 57.1. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. The scotches, I think scotches are now seeing, oh, damn, those Americans over there, they're putting all this cast strength stuff out, which I personally prefer anymore. And um, we're actually going to crack a 98, I guess, proof. Uh, well, we, brothers. we have uh, the 10-year, we have the 12-year, we have the 95, we have the 2001. So the Glenn Ross... Is Glenn Ross Glenn, Glenn Ross? I don't know. I'm not perfect on that uh, either. We have, my favorite. Favorite. We yeah. have the maker. We have heart. the maker's cut. Yeah. We oh have, yeah, you just got that. Yeah. 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 So we, yeah. we're uh, 95 was uh, my first purchase for uh, Heather's 18 dad. Year. We got 18 years. Um, it varies in age depending on when it was bottled. So there's different. Uh, bottling dates on our 95s and a lot of 95s I had it could be anywhere I believe from uh, 15 to 16 years old to 20 something years old is the Glen the 95 so depending on when they bottled it obviously the later it's bottled the heavier it is. so more eight no age statement whiskeys are coming this year for, as far as American bourbons go and even uh, your imported stuff your scotches your um, uh, uh, Irish whiskeys, even your Japanese whiskeys are coming in no age statement because the demand is so high so they're releasing along of course age statements are not going away which everybody feared. They're not going anywhere but these distilleries are releasing no age statements to fill the gap and the price range between that and your age statements and at first some of the early offerings were like eh, not you know, not so much and now a lot of the, the no age statement whiskeys are very good. They're very good, very good. So, Joe, and, and I don't know that you'll know the answer to this, but when we had talked in a previous show, I had said that if it was over four years, you didn't have to have an age statement on your whiskey. So, right. what you were just saying, I don't know if that corresponds to what... Now, no age statements doesn't mean it's a year old or two years old. It could be a blend. Uh, a lot of them are blending. Okay, we'll blend a cup year old product with a 16 year old product and a 20, and we're going to put it as a no age statement. Or they're going to have a no age statement, meaning that same whiskey could be two years old, six years old, eight years old. It doesn't matter. So you know? as long as okay. it's blended with something over four, you don't have to have an age statement. Or I'm not sure on that. I know imported stuff, no age statement in, in, in America, no age statement could be as we've seen as low as a year old, six months. Really. It could be a really? relationship. Yeah, I mean, it huh. could be pretty much anything. Um, it, like I said, it's filling that gap. And okay. they're offering new okay. products, and, and I think a lot of the New Age Statement stuff is experimental stuff they're mixing right. with and right. all their mixology right. and all that. Hmm. Suntory Whiskey is discontinuing their 17-year. So if, I know some guys were into that on the group, so that's discontinued this year. Get get it while you can. I'm not well versed in the Japanese stuff. Me we neither. Haven't yeah. got it. Me neither. No. Me neither. Into a lot of the Japanese stuff. So right. um, more mixology will happen with American whiskey this year, starting in 2019. So a lot of different blends, a lot of different aging in different barrels, casks, whatever you want to call them. Butts, sherry butts are always called. They're smaller casks for sure. Um, Blood Oath Pact Number Five is coming February 1st. Nice, nice. That's soon. so. It's next right. week, boys. Shit. So they have so. one, two, three, three and four. four. And yeah. a lot right. of people didn't like, I think it was I, I, two, 
or one or two, but a lot of people like three and four. Or wait, no, a lot of people four didn't like three, and a lot of people like two and really four. Popular. All right, so let, let me ask you a question. So I just had the opportunity, um, which we, was which was given to me. You picked up a lot of fours. There's, I did. They were so, all over uh, Philly and Jersey. Yeah. All right, so I just had the opportunity, which I passed up, but I could probably still get it, is I can get the first to the fourth right now. Okay. Okay, the blood oath. A lot of, like, I know Carl doesn't like certain releases. I think he didn't like, I, Carl, correct me, message, put it on the co-op under our, you know, our uh, release of this video. And say, I think you didn't like one in three or two or one of those, but you like, you know, like, he has a collector side too, so he likes to have sure. more artists to have them on display sure. for his museum. And he has... A hell of a museum. I'm sure. You should, I'm sure. You should roll out to me to Carl's house one so day. So, for those of you that don't know, Hank and Carl party. are kind of the directors. That's of not the even urban co-op. So his museum. You're not with us. Already. So, sh so should I should I reach out and grab the the rest of those or no? That, brother, that's on you, man. If you, I, I know you're collector. Okay. Why, why are you even asking? Your collector side well, is already, you know, already touching on the table here. Like I'm fucking getting it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you are stupid. All right, so all right, so I'll reach out and see if it's still available. If it yeah. is, and why not? We, I mean, I'll, it'd be I'll interesting it. to try it. Okay. Because I've only had um, three and four. So, a, a, a lot of you viewers who don't know, um, you know, obviously I'm a big collector of uh, American whiskeys, if you will. And, and scotches as well, even though they're not American. Um, I get a lot of people that reach out to me asking me if I am interested in this, that, or the other thing. Um, I do do turn around and 80% of the time I grab. Uh, this time uh, I did not grab, but I will reach out to see if that is still available. And, and if, if, if we do, then uh, I'll grab it. I have no problem with that. And another one that I want to grab more of that I had at the uh, party that the uh, what was it the Christmas party correct at the Rockefeller uh, building there in Cleveland Heights was a uh, Paste I don't even know what Paste magazine is but Paste magazine named very old Barton number one bottom shelf and their favorite was ninety proof now there are four different versions they have eighty. 86, 90, and 100. We've always drank 100. I've never had 80. Uh, I had, we had 86. Me and Albert here had 86 at the party and was really good. And their favorite was 90. So, and they're not expensive. They're all, uh, I think they're $9.99, $9.99 a bottle to uh, $19.99 a bottle for the 100 proof. So, that's not a, you know, big, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm really screwing this up. That's not a bank breaker there. It's very old Barton stuff. There's a lot. It's controversial on the co-op, so I've even sold some to some guys. I never even heard from Ronnie what he thought, but some guys don't like it at all, or you like it. That's gotcha. it. Gotcha. So maybe they should try some of the other proofs, 80, 86, 90. I want to try sure. it. Sure. So it, uh, and the last but not least, millennials prefer American bourbon over anything. As huh. far as whiskey goes, interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right. And that's it. That's all I got. All right. That's the news. And please do a like on us for the, or not a like, but uh, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. That helps us out a lot. Again, I'm going to stress this more and more. Uh, I don't know why we didn't stress this in the past, but please subscribe to our channel on YouTube. That's going to help us further this project, help us, uh, you know, get more things and be able to do more things this year that we're trying to strive to do in the future and get our name out there and we're going to start hitting up some of these distilleries with these videos yes, we that are. we do and hopefully yes, we we're really pushing for this to take off you know all right. help the cleveland bourbon co-op and that's all we got today that's the whiskey round table i am your host joe clark and Big he's G. also your host <laughs> i'm albert santilli and i'm karen helen keller drink responsibly kids we'll see you next week i know the weather's cold here in cleveland and, break out uh, your midwinter nice safe. drams. Yes, break it, break it out. Perfect. See, see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Great show. Great show. That's a great show. Why is like?